Hello everyone, we are from AR Finance. In today's session, we will be discussing about fundamental analysis of Tata Consultancy Services. Important points of this session are venture and acquisition, shareholding pattern, market share and revenue mix, financials, investors view, summary. Stay tuned with us in order to know more about TCS. TCS was founded in 1st April 1968 by division of Tata Sons Limited and previously it was known as Tata Computer Systems. Earlier, TCS started with Punch Card System, Interbranch Reconciliation System for Central Bank of India and Bureau Services to UTI. And currently, TCS provides wide range or IT related products and services such as consulting, application development and various services related to IT. TCS is fourth largest employer among Indian listed companies which has total employee count of 4,48,464 out of which 32.6% of employees are women which makes TCS as one of the largest employer of women in the world. TCS operates in 149 locations across 46 countries. If we talk about venture and acquisition, then TCS holds 51 subsidiaries and they provide IT related services which includes application development, business process outsourcing, capacity planning, consulting, enterprise software, hardware sizing, payment processing, software management and technology education services. TCS has acquired major of its subsidiaries from 2004 to 2010, which is 41 companies. And from 2011 to 2020, TCS has acquired 10 companies. Shareholding pattern of TCS is consistent from last five years and TCS reported total promoter holding of 72.05%. Large promoter holding indicates conviction and sincerity of the promoters. Institutional holding in the company stood at 23.85%. Large institutional holding indicates the confidence of seasoned investors. Insurance companies hold major portion of the shares in DII and foreign corporate portfolio investors hold major portion in FII. TCS is working in IT industry, where human resource has more value than any other fixed asset. Ability to attract, motivate, develop and retain talents is very critical for continued success of TCS. Continuous investment in upgrading employee skill and philosophy of empowering individuals and helping them to realize their potentials have made TCS as a benchmark in industry. As per ratio of employee cost to total revenue, ratio is increasing every year, which means productivity of TCS is increasing every year, which ultimately results into more profits for the company. TCS generates major portion of its revenue from consultancy services, which amounts to 1,54,829 crores for the year 2019 to 2020 by providing services such as application development, capacity planning, payment processing, software management. If we compare revenue of companies operating in IT services and consulting, then TCS holds major market share which is 32% of total market share. Companies most of the revenue comes from banking services and communication media and technology. Even in pandemic situation, major clients of TCS were actively working, which resulted in higher sales and increased performance. TCS generates major portion of its revenue from American and European countries. We can see that TCS is running its operation in developed market. If we analyze sales of TCS, 
then it shows company's primarily source of revenue comes from providing IT services, consulting and business solutions. Revenue of TCS is increasing every year. In the year 2020, revenue increased to 7.4% over the prior years as per reported terms. In year 2020, company's profit after tax is also increasing and registered growth of 2.8% over 2019. Even in pandemic situation, company is outperforming and generating higher profits. As per operating profit margin ratio, company's profit is increasing but operating profit margin is fluctuating and decreasing gradually. Company's operating profit is not improving as compared to sales and profit after tax. Because of strong financial health, EPS of TCS is higher than its competitors. Higher the EPS, more the investors will be attracted for buying share in the market. Currently, TCS price earnings ratio is 31.35 and industry's P's to E ratio is 27.62. Company's P's to E ratio is higher than the industry's P's to E. Ideally, it demotivates investor. But in case of TCS, company is performing in the market and strong financials attracts investor to invest in the company. Share price of TCS have increased to 133.90% in last 5 years from 1180.66 to 2761.55. Company is issuing dividend constantly from last five years. This is green flag for investors. But in case of TCS, 72% of shares are in possession of promoters only. According to Brand Finance, TCS brand value grew 476% from 2010 to 2020 the highest percentage growth in the IT services industry. Year-on-year -year brand value grew from $12.8 billion to $13.5 billion in financial year 2020, making TCS the fastest growing among the top three IT services brands. From our analysis, we can analyze few important points. TCS has strong fundamentals with average ROE is more than 30%, along with high institutional holdings. Over the span of 5 years, investors have got more than 110% of capital appreciation. Stock has been generating better returns of equity than FT. Debt to equity ratio is near to zero from last 5 years. Company is generating higher EPS and invests heavily in human resource in order to retain the best talent in the industry. This stock is stable for investment as return on investment is rich and capital appreciation is also good.